Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft modded video. And today I'm going to show you how to make a custom boss with the NPC mod. So you're going to need the NPC wand and the mob cloner. Now this is um, it's pretty easy. So. And you're going to need these two items and then the items of your choice. But we'll get to that step soon. So, two. So, I'm going to show you something I already made. So, I made all these. Alright, so I made the Iron Hulk remake. Daylight cycle, false. Weather cycle false. Alright, so yeah, this is the Iron Hulk 145 held 57 armor because I put armor on it and it has that weapon. To delete them, just delete yes. Then I also made a Technoblade 250 health diamond sword. Has its own cape. Just delete them to get rid of them. So, basically, first you want to click on the NPC and name it. I'm going to name it Boss. Don't have to put the title, model. You can either make your own model with this. So, like, give it, just make... Yeah, I'm just gonna give it some stuff real quick. Mohawk, yeah. Hair. Fin. Eyes. Ears. Claws. Press. Beard. So you just. Uh, you don't save it. You don't have to save it. And now we have this monstrosity. If you want to make your own, or or you can you can go here, and go texture. So just get rid of all the stuff you put on. Just get rid of all those legs. I didn't do what are legs. Oh yeah, you can make your so you can make like your own boss. You can do spider legs, horse legs, mermaid, no legs. Um, yeah, there's particles. You can do the skirts, snouts. Yeah, you can make a ton of bosses and stuff with this, but that isn't the goal for this right now. So, the boss, you want to go texture, select, and you can select a wide majority of biped textures. Or you could go, yeah, so you have the selection, biped mobs, so night and stuff, there's more stuff you could do, there's a ton, by a ton, I mean there is a ton of skins you can choose through. Some of them mess up the texture, which is sad, because not all of them are bipeds. But, yes, and then you can click Entity, and now you can choose between the entities you want. any entity there are built-in entities 
and then there are entities from other mobs it just takes all the entities and put them puts them together and it's actually cool too to have that so yeah there are ton ton of entities like even your own entities from your own mods there are tons leap leaf redstone golem you can do a ton and there are presets on here too okay hold on hold on so there are also modded presets like I'm pretty sure all these are presets. Blobfish, bone surfer. I am not sure, but oh jeez, I'm sh I think, or maybe they aren't. I don't think they are. Never mind. But yeah, just find anything you want. I'm gonna search demon. Oh yeah, yeah. There, it's just all of entities that already exist. Or you can go to overlay. No, wait, no. It wasn't overlay. It wasn't overlay. I forgot where it was, where you can, like, show, a uh, boss bar, show, player URL, so yeah, you could do player textures URL, you could do these, up, uh, textures, so, I'm gonna select, model so um yeah now i just got this thing cost textures you could pick from it's the desert just that thing you can choose anything that there is so i'm gonna do a zombie any zombie any type modded mobs non-modded you can make them talk but right now we are making them a boss so you're going to go out now we have our zombie just named boss yes, animation cape i'm going to give it you can't give zombies capes. So if we go to texture and we go to player, take zombie. Look, now we got a zombie player. Texture. But that just puts puts the texture over that so set to NPC player zombie and boom now we have a zombie it's cool orange eyes I like that so we can go back to cape and add a cool cape dark Coke, purple. So you basically, you just want to look through the capes that look cool. Oh shoot, my NPC wand. So you just look through the capes that look cool. I'm just gonna do that one because I want. I don't want this to be too long. How did that get in my offhand? All right. Well, he has stats now. I'm gonna make it have 185 health. Aggro range, 
64 creature type to do undead respawn you always want to set that to no with custom bosses now melee options i'm going to make it give you poison for two because you don't want it that long but you also want it strong so melee options melee strength I'm going to make it 7 melee range, 3 melee speed, 35, and knockback. I'm going to make knockback at 2. Now, ranged options. You can make it shoot ranged items. Resistance, let's do knockback resistance, arrow resistance, melee, explosion. Put those up a little bit. Health regen. Gotta keep it there. Projectile type. Effect. So. Gonna make it. Shoot a little projectile. Two. So accuracy. Do 75. Range. 25. Melee range. Um, hold up, what was the melee range? Three. Max delay, burst ray, burst count, uh, ammo shooting, yes, what the, yes, shoot indirect. Alright, projectile type, strength, five, knockback, two, size, speed 15 has gravity yes spins yes sticks no a f uh, trail type smoke and yeah so uh, let's do burn on no potion immune yes no fall damage yes couple uh, affected no now let's go to AI Unfound enemy, retaliate, door interaction, break, can swim, yes, shelter from, must see target, attack invisible, movement, wandering, track with SMP, animation, however you want the animation, move speed at 6, leap at target, I will put yes, void water, no, turn to start, yes, inventory now this is somewhat of an important thing this is where you get all the items for your boss now i will be using vanilla items so i'm going to give it Actually, hold on. I'm gonna give it a crown dungeons mod. Cape. No, no. It already has a cape. That's what you gotta pay attention. You don't wanna overlay stuff that is already put into the model. I'm going to give it royal guardian's armor, and then for its weapon. It is going to get a diamond sword. So, NPC wand, inventory, drag that up. Also, you can give it its ranged item. Inventory. And also a shield. Which I'm going to do. No, no, no. I want it. I don't want it to. I mean, make the guy. So, now we're going to put his crown on. His cool armor on. And his shield on. 
and now he will have the armor with the shield 35 armor this guy is going to be strong go back this is his inventory advanced now let's make his roll no roll beacon guard item given for a spawner now make him spawn or is it summoner or spawner? I think it's spawner. You can make him a spawner. Does it end? Um, so now we need to make an NPC he spawns. Let's name it Minion. Model entity zombie zombie frozen zombie jungle zombie king's zombie drowned zombie warrior hero brand zombie zombie servant zombie villager infected zombie I'm gonna make it spawn these guys I think or um Let's make it spawn um, these zombies. Now we're going to. So it's a zombie now. Stats. Um, health. We're going. It's a minion. Make it 15 health. Melee options. Melee strength. 3. Effects none. Keep all this stuff. Melee speed. Oh no. 15. Melee range. 1. Drown. Let's just keep it normal. Aggro range. Uh, let's do 15. Let's make it lower. AI. Unfound enemy. Retaliate. Door interact. Do break shelter from us the target attack and move. movement wandering range 10 move speed 3 inventory he will have so in his inventory I will give him iron sword and a they are protecting a king. Antique armor. Inventory. Now we give him his antique armor. Kind of see the zombie through it. it obviously, is a zombie. Advanced, uh, yeah. So now we have the minion. We're going to hit him with the mob cloner. Minion, server side, client side, save. Going to delete, but we might have to save him on the server side as well so uh, I'm gonna keep them open just for a second advanced spawner get done all right there now he spawns minions so we can delete that guy now we have completed our boss. Now we just not need to see if our boss fights. So I'm gonna test it with the mob battle mod because that's the easiest way to do it. So before I do so, I'm just going to save it, tab four, client side, and I'm gonna save it 
server side just so it doesn't get corrupted bossed saw and all those iron hulk boss and tab four now let's face it against one of my other guys let's face it against my technoblade who has more health all right yes it does summon minions And he does his shield block. I have no idea what's happening right now. So. 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 Um. Gonna. Place them down real quick. Spawn. So he doesn't spawn them as frequently as I would like so you can just place all of these this minion when he fights he will spawn a lot by a lot i mean a lot of minions so let's go ahead and save him let's get some stuff some this armor because the first armor I saw. Alright, so we got our chariots or whatever it's called. That is cook. No. No, no, no. Cook beef 64. Game mode. Alright, now let's. This guy. So he doesn't attack you right away, which I'm going to change. So now I'm going to go back on him. Right? And you are going to go to advanced, go to factions, go to aggressive, attack hostile factions. Alright. No, no. And now, after we save him, can slash game mode S, and he will be aggroed to us. Now we can hit him for not that much damage, and he spawns his minion. Who we need to fix the minion because the minion all is friendly right now which I forgot to do oh, wait no why am I doing this so yeah the minion you want to make the same faction as the um the um the boss so let's just go on him advanced factions and aggressive. Now let's go ahead and no, 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 no. It needs to be on one. All right, save. Client side, yes. All right, so minion. Spawn a minion. Yeah. So just delete them. So you're gonna need a strong sword to fight this boss. Some really strong items to defeat this boss. So I'm going to grab. See, so has a lot of armor bars. I need to use something for Chaos Awakens. Um, the battle axe. Is this the one that when you hit something? Okay, I'm gonna try fresh game mode. There's a lot of testing involved with doing this. Yes, yeah, so you have to update the minions that he spawns. So yeah, you need a powerful weapon. Yeah, he has ranged attacks and stuff. 
Why is he still trying to hit me? So you have to go back to the boss. And yet he will regen over time. So, minion. 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 Spawn. Spawn on target loss. One by one. All. Right. This game. Mode. This should be the last test. No, they all are for some reason. Hold on. So when I spawn him, so I need to go and update the minions on the server side. Now I get it. Now I do. Advanced uh, factions, aggressive. Yes, yes. Alrighty. Now I just need to save him. And server side. Game mode. And finally, our boss is complete. He hits you with melee attacks. He summons minions. He hits you with ranged attacks. There's a ton of health. Fully custom from the NPC mod. Look at that. Look at his minions too. Those guys will also fight off. Where the heck did the dude go? -E. Where did, hold on, where did, um, where did the boss go? All right, so let's refight the boss. Oh yeah, I need to uh, slash game mode. So, I forgot to save all of the changes on when I um, updated it. So, spawner, minions, minions, minion, 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 minion. All, all right, so I'm getting you do factions, aggressive, yes, yes. All right, tab one, client side, save. And now, this final battle against my custom boss made with um the custom and PC mod look at this dude look how OP he is he is and all of his um minions are here He is definitely like 10 times faster than his minions. And his minions don't, uh, his minions are slow. Can one hit him with this. And they have cool armor. If you have a survival server and you want to do this too, you can completely clone them and then make your own base. I mean, make a little um, thing, a little uh, 
dungeon or something to put the boss. And boom, I defeated the boss. So that was a long video and I hope you guys enjoyed it because it was um very, very long. And it's fun making custom bosses. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, great day and bye.